to you by Earth. It's on YouTube, enhancing mobile advertising on Facebook. It's July the 16th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6, and this is a update on my mature carrot plant, carrot seed plant, and this is how it looks so far. We've been having a lot of heat, so I don't know if that's from the heat, all the dead uh, bushes, or if it's because... This is going into its uh, second year, and it's transferring over from juvenile to mature plant. But I will keep you updated on it and let you know. Take some pictures, and that's all I got. It's July 21st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. And this is an update on our mature carrot plant. It's been through a lot of heat, so we're having a lot of uh, uh, dead uh, foliage. But I've been giving it water two times a day, and hopefully keeps it alive. But I just wanted to take a picture and update you guys on how it's looking. Okay, this is an update. It's July the 29th, or July the 30th. 2019 in Southern Illinois Zone 6. We have this is an update on my mature carrot plant. It looks like it's going through hard times, but trust me, I've been giving it water every day, so I'm not sure if it's because of the heat, which it has been hot, or lack of water, or maybe just the fact that it's budding up these flowers right here. I know that it takes two years for this to mature so these right here aren't going to be producing seeds that doesn't mean that it's probably taking a toll on it you know just for the energy it takes to make those pods so hopefully that's just a part of the process we are losing those I don't really want to trim it down if I have to I will um, keep it Okay, but I uh, wanted to update everybody and show them what it looks like. This, we're having those all do happen. That's the first stem, I think, that's actually doing it. And this one might be doing it too. I'll keep you updated. It's August the 10th, 2000, and, uh, 2009. In Southern Illinois Zone 6. This is an update on our carrot, mature carrot. Um, it's not looking too good right now, but I noticed that the whole path goes up down the street. There's a highway and it's growing, and I went to compare them with these, and, and they're doing the same exact thing. We're giving it water on a regular basis, but all of the leaves and everything dying off and it looks like that's basically what's supposed to be happening. I just wanted to update you guys and show you what it looks like. Before long I'm going to start pulling all this stuff out because it make it less competition for the plant. So with that I am going to quit. I'll keep you updated. Robert's mess melon starting to sprout up now. Yeah. Three of them growing in there. I put three of them together. Then we have three here. And then over here, we've got two more here. This is May the 6th. We're in zone 6, right? Yeah. We're in zone 6 in southern Illinois. Okay, we have more musk melons growing up. Wanted to get another video of this. This is March 9th. 
we have two of them like before on there. Then we got this one, this one, and I believe it's this one that's just started. So I'm going to update that. And this is very much late. I'll get to that on a different video. Like I said, this is uh, May the 9th, Zone 6, I'm Roger Hampton, Southern Illinois. And I hate when it goes Saturdays like that. Alright, these are my brother's uh, musk melons. And he's got these right here growing. This, these didn't grow in. These three didn't. So I'm going to be reseeding these here before long. This one grew, or these grew in. I believe there's three in both of them. It's July the 21st, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. And this is an update on our, uh, our musk melons that are growing in the porch. And they aren't looking too pretty, but they're still growing. But these two, and the third one is here. And over here is the fourth one. Six. This July the 19th, 2019. Here is an update on our transplants. This is the last of the sweet melons that are in my transplant container. I'm going to leave it there and let it go. See how long it can grow. This is a weed that I transplanted. And here are some trees that I've been pulling out and keeping an eye on, see what they do. This one looks kind of wore out because we've had a lot of heat. We've had about two and a half weeks of heat, followed by some rain, and then another five days of heat. You updated. Okay, here is July the 30th, 2019 in Zone 6, Southern Illinois. Here's an update on the musk melons growing on the porch. So far, so good. Robert moved them to where they were up next to the rails and growing up there. So, got that one growing there. This one, doing all right. Growing in there. Up. And this one seems to want to go wherever it wants to go. But we have that one going around there. And then this one is going with my weed. So, we've got that. So, then we have this one. It's growing pretty good. And this one, too. These bad boys seem to thrive off the heat. It's hot as heck. We've gotten one rain in like a week, week and a half, and these bad boys have been growing like crazy. So that's my musk melons there. And I will come and show you the melons, the two melon seeds that, or plants that's been growing up around the trellis. They've been doing pretty good too. They've made a complete circle around the trellis and they're meeting up right there. So they've made it around completely. And I'm actually gonna come over here. I'm gonna take a picture because I noticed this just looks awesome in the same thing. So let me get my finger out of the screen. I'm going to take a picture. All right. 
Thanks, man. That's my update. I will keep you updated even more. And by the way, we've got no one going right. That bad boy, too. Like I said, we'll keep you updated. It is August the 10th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on the musk melons that are growing up on the back porch. Um, we, they're actually growing pretty good, even though it's hot. In, uh, it's August, and it, it, we've got maybe four rains in the last, since Ju uh, July, beginning of July. These bad boys are growing big. They're coming up this far. I'm training them to go up this pole here and then up this one. And this one is doing really good. And over here, we've got three of them. And they're growing up this post. So we're doing good with those. Over here, I'm having a hard time training this one to go up, so I just have to loop it around and uh, hook that to itself on the other side like a snake. And this one is attached to this weed and it's growing up, so I'm just going to let it continue to do that. This bad boy is a sweet melon. It's the last of the transplants that I've had, and it's started latching onto this one, which I don't know if it will not hurt this plant, but I don't know what it is right now. But now it looks like it wants to hook up to this one. This is a musk melon, and it's doing pretty good too. It's growing up this string. I have two strings running across here, and over here too. Oh, I see it. I have those across there. I'm hoping I can get them that high this year. And this one is growing up over here. So I've got those going. And taking some pictures. I'm going to get on here and take pictures. And update you guys, let you know what it look like it's amazing what some of these pictures look like after I get them on the computer I'm really surprised at this really good picture of the freaking uh, melon garden that it has background this is another one that's growing up it's going pretty good too Okay, it's day uh, five. It's July the 29th, or 1st, July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. And it's day five on our potato, uh, sweet potatoes. I'm wanting to get on here and take a picture, keep you guys updated, let you know how it's going. I had it up to here, and I lowered the water level down. I'm going to have to put more water in it after. I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. Take some pictures. It's July the 23rd, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on my sweet potatoes. When I put these in here, I think I put them upside down. So if I did, I might have made a mistake. But this one got soft on me. And I flipped it over and it's starting to dry out, but it might be too much damage. And this one right here, I don't know. It's still hard, but it might, they might not grow. So I don't really like using this method, but because I've already done them with the avocados, and it d doesn't have very good results in my opinion. Then I'm going to take a picture here, I'll let you guys see it. It's July the 22nd, 
26, 2019. This is an update on the sweet potatoes. I don't see much coming out of it, so I'm not going to be filming, making any more videos for this. Uh, I really don't like it. I don't like the way I did this. Plus, I might have messed up because I could have, could have put them in upside down. I don't know. But I just wanted to show everybody this. I don't like the fly thing either. They did suggest putting it in a greenhouse. I went ahead and did it this way. So if anything changes, I will make another video, but if not, this is the best one. Alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and open that up. Right there. Probably have some down in the here too. Yeah, no, what if we just say this and like the right sprinkle? Mm -hmm. Just now. Wait a minute. Let's figure out where seeds are. Where's the main thing? You can see you can see the little white spot. And we'll get different color, the dark color from the light in the sun. So if people use this, they need to understand that they never have used it. Mm -hmm. I put some even up around the paper too. You know, okay, so we ran out of space on the phone, so I had to stop that last video. But what we did is we filled it all up. Basically, you didn't like do it too thick, did you? No. Okay. I because it still has to have sunlight going through. Yeah. But we, well, by the time that uh, moisture, because uh, it's only supposed to be like a few minutes. 
and we'll take this and I'm going to put this down. We'll see what happens. Put that put it in drains. Okay, so this is the progress of my strawberries after two weeks in the freezer and two weeks out. They don't really look too promising, but I'm going to get them if it works out. Got that one. I don't know if that's it. That one. And then I think there's another one popping up somewhere. Maybe in there. And this is dirt, so I really don't know. It could be a weed or anything. Right now, I'm still trying to identify the plants. I'm uh, just wanting to give an update on the strawberries. So this is two weeks in the freezer, two weeks out. These are what's supposed to be my uh, strawberries. I don't know for sure if it's grown, growing strawberries, but something's growing in here. Okay, today I am gardening for my group with uh, these two. This was kiwi and this was strawberries. Not for sure if any kiwis actually grown. That's what we got out of it. This is a uh, Zone six, so and this is what I'm trying to grow those strawberries out of. I had them in the greenhouse right here, and I took them out for the first day. This is Tuesday, and next Tuesday I'll leave them out. But each night I'm going to take these, put them back in the greenhouse, and that's the kiwi I had in in the house, or actually it was kiwi. Um, and some other stuff, oh, gooseberries, and then there was another thing that was in there. And I'm going to take them and take them back into the house each night till next Tuesday. But that is what I'm planning on doing with that. I just want to get some video footage of it. Okay, uh, I don't know if I needed to harden the soil like before from greenhouse over here for these but I went ahead and I hardened the soil for these this was supposed to be strawberry these are supposed to be uh I keep wanting to say mango but they're not no. kiwi this is kiwi and we put these out here and it uh put these out here now, we hardened it for a week. It's May the 6th. It's July the 23rd, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is Chia. I had it indoors and 
today I'm bringing it out. This is the second day that I've been hardening the soil, hoping that it grows. To me, I think that it's just way too dark in the house to be growing uh, this, so I'm going to try to see if I can get it to go out here and keep watering it and stuff and just leave it outside. But this is an update on the chia. And like I said, this is the second day of hardening the soil. And usually I just keep it out for the sixth day and I leave it out for that night because it's the seventh day. But that's what I'll end up doing, leaving it out for four more days. Okay, it's July 30th, 2019, zone six in southern Illinois. This is the chia that I brought outside. I uh, don't see much for any kind of growth, but I'm still watching it. I hardened the soil off for six days, and then I left it out here on the sixth night, seventh day. And this is the third day that it's been out. I'm still keeping an eye on it, and I'll keep you updated, but I don't know for sure if anything's going to grow from it. Okay, it's July the 30th, 2019, in southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is the third day that I've been hardening the soil for this. This is thyme and basil. I had it indoors under a uh, fluorescent light six inches from the light and it seemed like nothing was happening there they were starting to die and everything so i started hardening the soil and then bringing it outside like i said this is the third day i do see a little bit of growth right there so i might be able to save some of the plants that were in there but i wanted to keep you updated and let you know what it was and bring it up again uh, the videos. I'll keep you updated on it. It's August the 10th, 2019, Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on my tub full of uh, thyme, I believe. Now, this is with the chia and uh, one that I hardened the soil in and brought it out. <clears throat> I'm getting some uh, growth. Coming up in here, not quite sure what it is, but hopefully it's some of the seeds that I put in here. <clears throat> I've also got this. See it or not? But, um, some stuff. It is August the tenth, two thousand and nineteen, in Southern Illinois, Zone Six. This is an update on the thyme and basil that I put out here. I hardened the soil for six days and brought it out from indoors. Um, hopefully we get, uh, or it's starting to show growth here. We got some there, some there, some here and here. These were originally in it. Um, I had to bring it out because it, it wasn't growing all that well indoors. So. I had to bring it out here to hopefully allow the sun to. It is uh, September the 7th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on, this is an update on the kiwi. I had it in the uh, mini, uh, mini greenhouse and I took it out and was hardening, hardening off the soil. I don't know if I need to do that or not, but I did it anyhow. This is the sixth day, and I did water these on the second day of hardening, but then I didn't do it on up until yesterday, which was the fifth day. So now um, it kind of has a little bit of after effect of that. I watered it last night, and uh, now I'm just sitting and waiting. I'm going to see if I can transfer it. It's July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois, and this is an update on what I think might be a pomegranate tree that we planted. 
I just wanted to take a picture and keep you updated on it. Let you guys see what it looks like. It is July the 30th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. I put a apricots out here, planted three here, three here, and then two, one on each side on either here or here, here or here. Um, only one of them grew, and so far it's looking pretty good, so keep you updated on it. I didn't video the planting because I didn't know if any of them would show up, so I just wanted to wait and see what happened. But this all right it is august the 10th 2019 in southern illinois zone six and today i'm updating you on this little bitty thing it's, it's starting to grow and do pretty good it's the only one out of the seeds that I found it's actually growing so i'm happy to see that it's growing i've been keeping it watered it's in the middle of august and it's pretty hot we've had maybe four rains since the beginning of July so it's pretty hot this bad boy's growing so I will keep you updated on it as it goes along I believe it's apricot it's due or August the 10th 2019 zone 6 southern Illinois this is an update on a plant that I believe is either a either lavender or it's a um, pomegranate, but I'm starting to believe that it's lavender from what I've seen of pictures. I have no idea. I'm just letting it grow. And if you guys do know what this plant is, please let me know in the comment section. I have no idea. So with that, I am going to end the video, and I will let you guys know what's going on. There's more things happen with it. This was brought to you by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.